guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm not dead. I'm still alive. Just hanging out in my backyard. Um, let's talk. Uh, so the CSGO era of videos for this channel is done for, and um, I really don't feel like I'm going to try to get anywhere in Counter-Strike other than a higher rank. Uh, got Global Wingman. There's that. Got Ellie. Soloed up to Ellie from uh, MGE. That was fun. That's not easy to solo up, especially with the current state Counter-Strike is in. Hopefully, uh, Counter-Strike 2 kind of gets rid of the cheaters, and maybe I'll play more. And, uh, hopefully, they have a new anti-cheat system or whatever. Um, I just heard uh, yesterday that there's supposed to be a leaderboard, so that's kind of cool. But I'm not really uh, trying to get into Counter-Strike and not really trying to devolve my life into Counter-Strike as much anymore. Um, it's been something I've been trying to plan for a little bit now. That's why... Whenever I get a skin in Counter-Strike, I don't tend to keep it for long because I don't really feel like leaving an investment into a game I don't play that much anymore. Um, thankfully, in Counter-Strike with the loot boxes and everything, I'm walking out positive. But, you know, I'm a great photographer and I even work under somebody that i rather not mention their name because the dude's a fucking complete weirdo and I never want to work underneath him again. Uh, if you see this video... Hi, bro. You're fucking weird. Uh, I don't care that you didn't pay me for the session that we did. Uh... What, bro? What? What up, Chucky? Uh... But yeah, it's uh. What? What? They on your block? They on your block? They in front of your house, bro? Bro, they in front of your house? How dare, how dare they? How dare they? Now, see, I'm clinically insane. I was in a better health facility, mental hospital. <laughs> Anyways, um, a lot has happened. A lot has happened. Like I said, where I've been. <laughs> Found out a lot about myself, who I am, and ways to better cope with myself and my living situation and everything. Um, found out I have Asperger's, or at least a very good chance that I have Asperger's, because uh, I can't fully test it in adults. It's not as easy, because I've kind of just grown with it and kind of just let it fucking mold into me, and I worked around it kind of thing. Um, but, you know, with the GM layoff, and then going back to work for like a week, and then the COVID layoff, Let's restart that. Fuck it. White clean. All right. We're bad. Um, with the GM layoff that happened, and then COVID right after, and then my arm fucking breaking both bones, literally after I get back to work, kind of kind of fucked me in a lot of situations. And um, during the COVID layoff, I had to leave the uh, apartment to my roommate, Sean. I left him everything. Um, so it's kind of it kind of sucks to start over, but you know I'm glad to see he's doing good because he was having a hard time finding his own place, and you know it worked out for him. And I kind of needed it. I kind of needed to move back in my mom my, with my mom as much as I didn't want to say it because you know I kind of needed to hit my rock my own rock bottom in order to like figure out where the fuck I am and what I'm doing and whatnot. Um, it's not easy to say that, but, you know, sometimes you just need that. Sometimes you just need to fucking just be at your lowest, then realize I never want to be here again, bust out of it and work as hard as you fucking can, and just realize that you just, you just got to fucking do what you want to do. Like, I don't need a relationship to be happy. Like, literally, all I need is what I want to do, and that's travel the world, do photography, YouTube, um, TikTok. Um, I'll even probably post this on TikTok, I'm not sure. Um, but I made my photography business into an LLC, and what that allows me to do is have a separate bank account, do taxes and filing for all that stuff, and with um, traveling, doing traveling, doing YouTube, doing video content and photography, uh, 
everything I do is a business expense. Um, but hopefully what that does is um, the money I make from my job, I'm putting like a percentage into the company and uh, making an investment into myself and my business and what I want to do for life. Because um, how many people actually get to travel and see the world? I've seen a lot of the U.S. already myself as a kid. And that that was like my favorite thing to do as a kid. And it was one of the hobbies me and my dad did. My dad even um, went across, you know, the U.S. hitchhiking himself, found himself in Arizona, um, which is probably how I got the name Phoenix eventually. Um, but, you know, I kind of want to live, live that legacy a little more. And, you know, you only get one life. Do what the fuck you can with it, man. Like, do what you love. I want to I wanna travel the world. I want to take photos. I love photography. That's where I am with that. <laughs> but yeah, in October, I'll be going to Zimbabwe, and we'll be doing that. Um, it's not 100% guaranteed yet. I'm still not 100% fixated on it. I might go do something else and then save that thing for another year because um, there's always a chance to go do it. You know, Africa's not going anywhere except for splitting in half. But, you know, um, whatever. Gotta get, gotta get loose, bro. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I built this channel from the ground up. Um, and, you know, I have a lot of people that follow it. And whether or not you guys um, watch this video or decide where you're going to stay with the content that will be moving forward. Um, I appreciate everybody that's here. I appreciate everybody that's going to stay. And I appreciate all the people that have left. Because even without you guys, this channel wouldn't be what it is. Um, because at one point you were here supporting me. And that's all that matters. Um, you know, my life is a very fickle matter. And I want to make it a life that I can rewatch over and over again. If it was a movie played before my eyes. Um, more of a personal reason for that because you know the way I believe life works and whatnot kind of kind of fucked kind of not real but uh, it's a mental fear always you know, no one knows what life is everybody thinks life could be a possible simulation and 100% honesty if, even if life is a simulation it's still my reality it's still my physical beings reality so no matter what life is, no matter what life will be, no matter what life perceives itself to be, I am me, this is my life, this is my story, and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make it something I wanna see. Something I would wanna do time in, time out, and just enjoy. Are you directing this now? I'm just gonna lay under the camera directing this. Am I doing a good job? Am I, am I, doing, am I being a good boy? Am I being the good boy? Yeah? Alright, my dog says that's good. Cut. Clean. Send it to the presses. By that I mean, go lay in my bed on my laptop and fucking edit this video. Um, but yeah. Life is what you make it. Do everything with it. I'm gonna hit the camera like you hit my fucking leg when I was shaving and had to do a stubble. Which, I don't mind the mustache, but I miss, I miss having a little bit of longer beard. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, life's been life, you know? Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams, bro. Just fucking do it. <laughs> as meme as that sounds. Just do it. Live, live the life you want to live. 